In this video, we're going to learn how to filter data with slices. Slices provide buttons that you can click to filter tables or pivot tables. In addition to quick filtering, slices also indicate the current filtering state, which makes it easy to understand what exactly is currently displayed. Excel data can be filtered by adding filters to the heading row and deselecting and selecting data, which can be a bit time consuming. Instead of using filters, we can instead use slices. To insert a slicer, first convert the data range into a table. You can do this by clicking anywhere within the data range and pressing Ctrl T on your keyboard. Another way to convert the data range to a table is to click anywhere in the data range, clicking on the Home tab and selecting Format as Table. If your table has headers, check My Table has headers and double check that the correct data is selected. Click OK. You can stick with the default table style or choose a different style from the table design tab. Filters are automatically added to the table which you can manually filter. To insert a slicer, click anywhere on the table. Click on the table design tab and click on insert slicer. A list of the table headings will display where you can choose which heading to make into a slicer. You can choose multiple headings, but for this example, I'm going to select the heading Office. Click on the slicer and edit it by increasing the number of columns. I want the colors to match the table, so we'll change the slicer style on the slicer tab. The slicer displays the same filter options from the table, but as buttons. Now instead of clicking on the filters of the table, we can just click on the slicer buttons. To clear the filter, click on clear filter and press the Alt key and the letter C on your keyboard. To add additional slicers, click anywhere on the table and click on the table design tab. Click on insert slicer and choose which heading to include as a new slicer. In this example, I'm going to select department and format it to look like the office slicer. Now we can filter by department by clicking on the buttons. Note that the office slicer highlights which offices are filtered by the department too. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and share this video and subscribe for more.